Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. And today, partners around the world are celebrating the fact that I'm not standing at the foot of the Berlin Wall. This is where it used to be, dividing East from West, tyranny from freedom. I find it so inspiring to think of the sacrifices made to achieve this great victory for freedom. And I know friends of Atlas find it inspiring as well. well then I entered the train, suburban train. Yeah, and I was first time, it was first time in my life that I was in the so-called West, and it was my first experience with individual freedom. November 9 was a very special day and the feeling of freedom that the people had there is something that most people can never imagine. Hello, my name is Rodrigo Constantino and I'm an economist from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I was very young when the wall came down, but even then I understood what it meant, the victory of freedom over slavery. In our region, we think of the fall of the Berlin Wall as modern because we still have many walls due to political and economic oppression and the lack of freedom. We certainly need a tumbling down of these walls like it happened in Berlin 20 years ago. Sydney is a long way from Berlin, but here at the Centre for Independent Studies, we have in our wall a piece of the Berlin Wall and some graphics from the wall. It's here to remind us what a brutal period of history that was. It's also to remind us that those who love liberty should fight to never let it appear again. Today, as we celebrate the triumph of liberty over tyranny, the Atlas Economic Research Foundation is working around the world to develop the next generation of freedom champions, connecting them to a worldwide network that is determined to tear down the walls that constrain human liberty.